Okay, it is I and oh my god, it's been so many fucking days of like this deep dark depression where I was like really down and I was oh my god, my brain went to this super dark place. I had no appetite. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. I couldn't anything like I would just go to bed at like five and I couldn't freaking anything. I just would sleep two hours and just wake right up. So the it's been really rough and like it's been a few weeks of this and you know you know because i've been on my channel just having a whinge about it and i think only now like today as i wait for my bread delivery to come i feel a bit better but to be honest it's been really fucking hard to be okay i mean i think the stress of everything and not i think being in control of this of course you know adds up and i know that you know soon this too shall pass but to be honest like it's really painful like i feel it in my core i don't know anyway so i thought i'd just do this video to get myself kind of back on track to be honest every video is me just trying to kind of get back on track but this one means a lot to me because um because i haven't combed my hair since i got super depressed and this is a big step and if you haven't combed your hair i highly recommend using the tangle teaser these bad boys make it hurt a lot less put lots of hair oil because if not it's like the worst fucking feeling like you feel like all your hair is gonna fucking come off and i'll kind of try and update you on what you've missed in my life if you care and if you're working from home you know i hope that i keep you company like i'd start a podcast but like maybe I just want to try and keep things as chill as I possibly can even though everything is still pretty crazy but yeah okay so ow. I'm just trying to get all the knots out of my hair and just start this I'm gonna do this little baby freckle makeup -y tutorial and I hope it accompanies you today and it cheers you up and for me it's just something I want to feel I accomplished after a really long painful time of extreme sadness and confusion and I got really dark for a bit I think I've been very lucky to have support of a lot of amazing friends and family and it's been hard for them as well I think watching me go through this and I really appreciate the support so yeah also i've bought plants if you can tell and i've changed up the background of my video and kind of am into this whole like home renovation stuff where i'm getting plants for my room and this is a monstera deliciosa and it's good for cleaning the air but i've also gotten some plants that like kind of like close their i think stomata at night so they don't steal your oxygen when you sleep which is always nice um and in the daytime they produce oxygen so that's always good as well so we finally combed our hair we can do this oh no 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 we can't no. and if you're watching this and you're having a hard time i want you to know that you're not alone and we've all you know seen some shit and we're all going through some shit and let me just try and eliminate my face from the bottom with like a google window or something there we go yeah cool close enough well I guess we're all not alone and it's hard and you know I see some people still hanging out in groups and like to be honest what the fuck guys but you know for those of us trying our best that's great and also for the health workers oh my god you guys are so great and for the delivery guys doing their jobs and bringing us food and there are literally so many people that are helping us like do our thing and like stay alive and stay home and like if you're not doing that because I don't know if you can choose not to leave the house and you still do I don't know what to say to you to be honest if it's not for something essential or to walk your dog I think then come on man so anyway hair combed you know okay so we're gonna try and get better today by trying to like prep up and be cute I guess it's really similar to my daily routine except it has freckles because it's fun and I learned it and I thought it'd be quite cute also is my camera slanted okay I still think we're a bit slanted but this is close enough so we're just gonna start so I'm gonna keep your face super prepped and you want to moisturize the shit out of it because if you were like me and super sad you would have forgotten everything to take care of yourself which means i forgot to wear my hair masks i forgot to do my weekly shave i forgot to do my weekly nails i forgot to basically keep my shit together for like a while and it was hard and i want to say pluck your eyebrows as well but to be honest like let's just aim for something realistic which is moisturizing so we are moisturizing with La Roche Posay Polarine Sensitive Cream. You know this, I always use this, but because it's quarantine, it kinda is different, maybe. I don't know. Follow along or leave it in the background and then subscribe, like, comment, blah blah blah. And we'll get through this together. So we're gonna put on some Polarine Sensitive Tinted Moisturizer, which I absolutely love. I mean, it's just light and like easy to squeeze if you leave it the right way, but obviously in my mess, I just kinda let it like roll around. But usually I store it like right side down. Down, the right side up I don't know I store it like this and it's super 
super easy to get out from your thing without like making a mess you know have you ever like had not enough like foundation or it didn't come out right and you just kind of shook it and it went fucking everywhere it's been so long since I've shot one of these little makeup-y things and I'm really, I'm really happy that I'm shooting it right now. So what do you guys miss in the time I was gone? I was trying to not kill myself and um, using art as therapy and I still got really dark thoughts. I wanted to drink, I wanted to smoke, I wanted to, you know, cut myself and I reached out to a few friends because I've been thinking about this for some time and I thought this is kind of like pain but not really because you have to actively not hurt yourself and I reached out to a few great tattoo artists listed below and I asked them to mentor me so uh, tada I bring you my first tattoo which you can't really I can't really I have a anyway I'll show it later in the next video but I am really proud of it uh, it's my first stick and poke and I had such amazing fucking guidance from these like amazing tattoo artist friends that I have and I'm really thankful for them and like to just reach out and just say yo I don't want to cut myself and I don't want to kill myself and I want to do I want to do tattoos and I always wanted to do tattoos you know I want to do it right I don't want to just like give myself blood poisoning because the hospitals don't need any extra people um, and to have them be like yes get on zoom don't hurt yourself I mean it's something else right so I was really moved by them and I've started this whole journey called Inky Gaijin and you guys will probably get to see me kind of learn as I go and and what I want to promote is kind of like healing by choosing alternative met like methods to like general like your first reflex self-destructive behavior type mine is immediately to drink smoke cut myself not eat binge purge you know the whole list the the whole Blah. and like especially right now with nothing but food delivery options I mean it's super dangerous for me and I want to make better choices because I want to survive I want to fight so I made a choice to stay alive and now I have to stick to it and that's kind of what you have to do I'm using Catrice camouflage cream so it's gonna be really simple this is kind of like style kind of helped me a lot when I was super sad and I was like putting on makeup for my tattoo um, video and it, it helped heaps I think with me kind of just doing something and feeling like generally accomplished that I did something with my day which sounds bleak but you know okay we're using TARDIS we're using the TARDIS Pro palette I'm so bit shaky from all the crying and lack of sleep and we're using Bold, Innocent and Indie we're kind of just like stabbing it in all three really like gently and we're just kind of brushing it on our eyelids so now we're gonna keep like this look pretty simple because i kind of like the whole like sun kiss baby doll vibes that i get when i do this look and i want to keep it pretty clean so it's just really light kind of eyeshadow see i realize i say pretty light but like my pretty light's still pretty heavy <laughs> anyway so we got that on so you have that over there and then you want to line your eyes if you still remember how to line your eyes like me obviously i almost forgot <laughs> How to line my eyes because I was uh, I mean I feel like we need to talk more about fucking depression and how it eats at you slowly and gradually and it just starts by you like eating more and more or less and less and then you're just like oh but it's okay I'm losing some weight but then you know that's dangerous so like as someone who kind of has been through the, the ED stuff and you know occasionally I still battle the binging, the purging, the anorexia, the, the restrictions. Like it's hard. It's fucking hard to not let this get to you. Like when it's such an easy excuse and you're just home alone and you know it's so easy to just like do your shit in the dark but then you might die which is not fun so we don't want that so let's just try to survive together right so i'm using roller lash by benefit and it's a zip balm and it's a liquid liner i'm gonna let it dry a little bit i'm gonna pick my little highlight color which is still from the tardis pro palette we're using glam which is like this light kind of like goldy goldy thing we're just putting it in the middle and i of course didn't wait for my eyeliner to dry completely so i'm smudging it but it's okay we're just we're just we're just trying we're just trying really hard and that is the model for the quarantine lockdown 20 fucking 20 we're using smoked and the angled eyeliner brush i'm gonna just draw over the eyeliner i kind of like to just add the powder on as well just to kind of set the liquid liner because i have oily ish lids and i don't want it to just go everywhere so i kind of draw like i kind of pat 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 right then i just drag if that makes sense i kind of drag it like a highlighter and it does this like thing for me and then it just completes the line you see cool okay and then we are gonna take some something shiny and cute which will be my color pop a silver any silver basically and just kind of slapping it in, in the middle so i know i said like simple look but like then here i am with my shit so and that shadow brush from morphe and we are using chic, I guess, to just kind of 
mix it all gently together. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Now we want to do the contour stuff and then after everything, then we do our freckly stuff, right? So now it's all about the blending and we are getting the Sephora contour palette or you can use the Tarte palette as well. It's very good and you just want to bring in the darks here and here, which I love so much. And then of course I forgot my eyes. God damn it. <laughs> and then you want to you want to conceal your little eye bags from the lack of sleep because you've been crying or eating or not sleeping because depression fucking sucks and it's fine and you're not alone and i've been crying for days i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep you know but here i am fucking painting my face try and get back on it and will i be okay after this i don't fucking know and will i be crying tonight to sleep i don't fucking know but what i know now is that i'm trying and that is what matters and so if you're watching this don't fucking give up on yourself okay because like life is hard and we gotta keep fighting and this channel is probably just gonna be me constantly fucking trying to not give up and not die you know i hope this resonates with someone out there and it, you know, i save a life so okay lines lines cheekbones everybody love cheekbone forehead side face thing forehead side face thing they said do the number three but i usually just run out of powder by then so i just kind of do it like side face side face and and this part and then i get the yellow and the beige or like a blend out color just kind of paint it to blend it out like so okay now we look a bit like a ghost but this will this will fade as the as the moisturizer kind of like oxidizes so it'll pass and then you can decide how cute or glowy you want to be with your little highlighter stick but i don't really like to be too glowy so i'm gonna use this japanese powdery thing that i got when i was in tokyo and i just like beat my highlighter parts a little bit it's barely there but you can maybe see and it just smells like baby powder and that's why i like it okay now the time has come for you to moisturize your fucking lips so i'm using aesop's rose hip seed lip cream which i swear by and i just hate opening it up because it keeps oozing out and it's kind of like nick a bit out and then i immediately shut it like a freak so that it doesn't get like all up in the cap fucking hell change your packaging damn it such a great product though and i'm just kind of just mushing it on and like i feel like in the midst of my sadness ironically when i was putting on makeup i felt a bit better already because i just felt perkier and like more hopeful if that makes sense yeah so now we have moisturized lips little baby moisturized lips and then we kind of want to just blend our eyes a little bit more so we have our face done ish for now and we just want to straighten out a little eyeliner lines so, i'm not going to use mascara because i find it a bit hard and this is my work from home kind of like vibey thing and now we're gonna do the freckles now this is my watercolor brush actually and it's super soft and super fluffy it's from winsor and newton it is number two you can use number one if you're like really like a freak like super precise but i'm at number two and this is what i do in my freckles so now we're using the tardis palette or you can use like any fucking contour shade that you have because it will match your skin and we're gonna start with bold just super light we'll start stabbing our face like, gently like boop 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 so you just kind of want to wing it and like freckles kind of like live and die on like the this part of your face like a like a like a three like a superhero mask and you want to mix a few kind of shades of brown i think to just kind of make it look more natural right so it's probably not the best this tutorial but we're having fun and i thought um, that's what matters and also we're at home so we're using profesh now which is another just literally another brown shade we're just kind of dotting it on and like it's so hard but i'm trying not to be symmetrical and yeah we're doing our nose going a bit up and we're adding another shade in a bit we're gonna use indie because we want like big splotches and small splotches and you know you just kind of want them to blend out as it is like a pigmentation thing so yeah we're using chic now and again like i just want to say that this is entirely for fun and i hope you try it at home and like you just have some fun like kind of feeling yourself or doing something other than crying during the day and you know maybe maybe it'll help you cheer up just one percent and i would have been so happy to fucking help you okay and now we're kind of freckly ish oh it's not the best job and then we wanna 
kind of keep going so I kind of feel like if I put lots which kind of seems counterintuitive but if I do it in different shades it looks less and less like sticky outy and it looks more like blended it just looks like part of your skin like your skin is just gonna be like super spotty and like that's just you so yeah it's kind of splotching the shit out of my face with my little brush please pick like a really soft brush by the way because because you know it'll hurt like hell if you use a rough brush and like you know i know some people use q-tips but like they're a bit too large for my preference so but you can if you want you can just try that out so with more splotches i feel it buries itself better and yeah so i've avoided my eye bag which i should not have i'm just gonna try and put some spots there and there we go kind of like a little baby kind of baby spot thing so when you have kind of spots on your face i'm just gonna be really gentle with the, with the word when you have spots on your face that kind of look like freckles you just want to finish up with the contouring and the concealing so i have a bit of pimple there one of those ingrown demons that just do not want to come out and just torment you constantly going why do we pop we're not gonna pop um you just pat fucking concealer on it and it should help okay dark line line under 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 side side big floof big floof color pop translucent powder or pawns bb powder and then close your eyes and smack your face and this should lighten your freckles as well so it looks less jarring okay so now still super pale do not like getting the darks blending it in even more and kind of just trying to join it up to my face now with this i kind of like my lips to be a bit more like stung so i use swear by and love the superstay in crayon in the color what is this fucking color and the color trust your gut and we are going to just draw our lips with it i know it's a lip liner but i use it as a lipstick because I'm just beginning my makeup journey and this is a start and he starts to start. So I only draw my bottom lip and then I kind of like mush it to try and like spread it out so it's not too thick. See? But it gives me kind of like a Kylie Jenner vibe. So to be honest, if my freckles are horrible, I'm so sorry. But I hope I taught you guys something about just hanging in there. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. Moisturize your lips because I don't know, it really affects you subconsciously. Like, you know, when you like shave your legs and you feel like a fucking dolphin and you're just like, woohoo, everyone should touch my legs. We see my legs. You know, like moisturizing your lips when it's all like fresh makes a difference. So here I am with the arrow's hip lip seed cream thing. And yeah, we're done, I think. And then we gotta set our face. And I'm using the amazing Make Heat Mist by Cozy. And it's just a bit of a spritz. So close your eyes and aim down and try not to kill your plant. And then let down your hair that you've combed and now it's all lush and cute and the oils have soaked in and you just want to put your favorite perfume. I'm using Replica, Lazy Sunday Morning, and your self wrists. And then you want to kind of do like the cute like work from home hair where you can still wear your headphones. So you kind of want the tendrils down, like kind of like down so that your hair, like, so your face is framed basically right you want it to just casually fall all casual but not really because we know we spent some long ass fucking minutes doing this okay then you kind of want to bunch up your hair with uh one of these little bungee ties which i feel hurts less to take on and off and i just kind of do like a little baby ponytail Ooh. and then you're like work from home like cash but like not really but you know you're still kind of cute and then and then essential oils okay so i got mine from utama spice which is this brand i fucking worship in bali it's amazing and they have a store in singapore so that's really good i am using the senja hydrating body mist but i kind of use it for my space so i'm just kind of like spritz 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 and it's organic i don't want to be that person but it's organic so you can kind of go everywhere with it and like it's fine and like this plant will survive and everything and then i'm using the bliss essential oil blend and what i kind of do is i kind of just like like lob it on like my bamboo shelf on the side like i put a drop in like this like one particular spot every day and like it just absorbs it like a reed and it just kind of like exudes like this mild scent of what is it lavender bergamot geranium rose orange peel and it's kind of like just really nice to constantly feel like you're in this like tropical paradise working because even though you're in your little room you know you gotta try and like do what it takes to keep yourself upbeat and i so have be gone bug if there's a freaking mosquito get, that gets stuck in your freaking room oof oof i get so mad so then when i want to feel super duper cute i have my little light glasses for working with the computer and they're like the blue light glasses which is debatable because i don't know if they really work or not but sometimes i feel like they're better for my eyes and i put them on and like oh are we chic oh we are so chic and then we try them on with our headphones because we are going to be editing all day now for this one video because we talked so fucking much 
and we slap them on and oh my god we look so professional do we look professional but kind of still cute yes we do and what are we gonna do keep fucking trying so cuteness aside wherever you are whoever you are and however you feel if you feel alone and sad and depressed and dark like i hope this video helps you a little bit or you have some fun doing freckles or you end up like painting stars on your face or something but i think what's important is that i want you to know that i have been going through an entire shit show depression it's been hell on earth and this is me trying to fucking survive and this is me trying to make change and this is me trying to reach out still and not go entirely to my dark place because we all know that the dark place is comfortable and the dark place is safe and the dark place is home and that lulls you into a sense of security where you don't want to get out of bed and you don't have interest in anything and you start not eating or you start binging and you start losing weight and like let's admit it when you do binge or lose appetite because you're sad and you lose weight like you feel kind of cute like subconsciously you just know it's but you can't let that be like it's better to just choose better food or if you're not in the place to choose better food like choose less junk if that makes sense you know like i grew up poor right so if <laughs> to be honest i'm not bawling now fuck but if you know i grew up thinking that instant noodles and like you know all of that was normal but you know now I still have the craving for it because that is just what happens when you're raised on something but now I choose to kind of be like okay I have instant noodles today and then maybe just once or twice a week you know and sometimes on the hard weeks or the hard days I'm like okay maybe just once a day maybe not just for two meals which might seem extreme to some people but like to me it's comfort food so that's kind of like what I aim for like I aim for realistic kind of you know I try to save myself but I don't put too much pressure on because you know how we get you know, I get really fucking sad if I don't reach a goal or if I let myself down or I let someone down but anyway tldr i am trying to come back i don't want to say i'm back it's scary um i have started a little baby tattoo career um good news is i've got like a few commissions for my art um good news is also i have not uh, thought of killing myself for about three hours um good news is i ate a sandwich today and i finished it and i didn't feel horrible i was able to eat it i didn't want to throw it up i didn't want to throw it away i don't want to spit it out after chewing if you have an eating disorder you know what i mean um i was on facebook and i reached out to small local business owners and i bought food from them instead of the big chains because it's hard um i am in talks with an amazing bartender friend through the art where he does 30 days life of cocktail creation to kind of just collaborate and help the industry and hopefully make some money for fucking food um and i guess there's always bad news but there's also a way to look at it i want to try to look at it as scary news because it's always going to be fucking scary news i don't know if i'll afford food i don't know if i'll you know be be okay tomorrow i don't know if i will feel super sad in a while but it's about trying it's about trying and it's about hanging in there and, and we're gonna keep fucking trying and we're gonna be in this together and if you watch this like i hope 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 that some of it got through and that you know that you're worth it you're beautiful you're smart you're enough because these are the things i try to tell myself every day to hold on so yeah we'll we'll see where this goes we'll see where this goes but you can only be so sad when you have like super sharp eyeliner so i will see you very soon and hopefully it's with the tattoo video which i'm trying to fucking edit but uh i might need a few favors from a few friends because it's hard and remember to fucking offer to pay your fucking friends because exposure doesn't feed so just that um good vibes only um try to stay positive buy fucking plants i'll do a plant episode i want to do a plant episode i will try to do a plant episode and i will see you guys very very soon thank you for watching uh yeah links below on the tattoo artist my new tattoo page my yeah growth survival maturity etc everything this is my favorite plant right now so see you guys soon